here's a continuation of our question that we had for the girl who was uh, traveling in a circle with indeed uh, angular acceleration and a centripetal acceleration. Now let's remind ourselves what the values were. So the uh, centripetal acceleration we previously calculated that to be 19.5 meters per second squared. And the tangential acceleration, we also calculated that to be 5.1 meters per second squared. Now, in order to finish the question, we want to find the total acceleration the girl experiences at the edge of the circle. So again, let's remind ourselves that the uh, centripetal acceleration is pointing to the center of the circle. The tangential acceleration is pointing this way. Now the diagonal of our parallelogram will show us where the total acceleration is. And uh, this time I want to use A sub R to represent the uh, resultant acceleration or the acceleration total. So A sub R then will equal the, uh, basically we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. So equal the square root of centripetal acceleration squared plus the tangential acceleration squared. So A sub R is going to equal the square root of 19.5 squared plus 5.1 squared. Okay, and uh, A sub R is going to equal 20.2 meters per second squared. Of course, with any vector addition, we will have an angle. So we will then say the tangent of theta. And again, it depends on uh, which way the circle is pointing at any given moment. So we have, um, in this case, the uh, acceleration tangential going upwards and centripetal going inwards. And then our angle is going to be off this way. If the circle is over here, of course, how we reference that angle will change depending on uh, which way the circle is going at that instant. So let's, uh, let's just do it from where I've drawn it. So that will equal the uh, tangential acceleration over centripetal. So we'll say 5.1 over the 19.5. Of course, we'll then take the inverse tangent. So theta then has a value of uh, 15 degrees. And of course, if it's over in this location, that would be the complementary angle. So theta would then equal 75 degrees at that location. And of course, I'm referencing this to the uh, x-y coordinate system.